RuPaul's Drag Race. Got your engine. RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Best woman to win. Hi, I'm Stefan. <laughs> this week on Ginger Chat. <laughs> We're gonna pick our noses. <laughs> We're gonna talk about, I don't know. What are we gonna talk about? Mm. We're gonna talk about gender. We're gonna talk about gender. And gender, you have to say it's a different thing from sex. Get it straight. Because this is what sex is. Just so you guys don't know, we're going to give you a demonstration. <laughs> Bye. Sex is what Rachel's doing with her other hand right now. <laughs> la la la. Donuts is in my butt. <laughs> if you don't hand. like gay people, don't just let don't let them in your butt. butt. It's easy <laughs> as that. <laughs> uh, a YouTube commercial for that. It's true. Don't let them in your butt. Mm-hmm. Simple. Don't let them in your butt. But I like gay people, so I let them in my butt. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Stefan here on Gender Queer Chat. Um, this week we were talking about whether transgender and gender queer issues should be included in, um, in the larger lesbian, gay, queer politics. Um, there's a lot of controversy over this because, um, a lot of, um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, um, people feel that, you know, gender is something separate than sexuality. And so having trans, or uh, gender issues in general, um, part of the, uh, movement to accept people based on their sexuality is problematic. Um, there's also, um, you know, people who are binary gendered trans people who don't necessarily want to be a part of queer politics. Um, and then there's, um, people like me who are queer, gender queer, transgender, have a female lesbian history and, um, you know, do want to be a part of the movement. So, um, it's, it's kind of hard to keep everybody happy, but I feel that you really can't have a lesbian, gay, bisexual, queer movement without trans people. Um, if you think about what gay and lesbian people are targeted on the streets um, with like hate crimes and stuff like that, most of the time it's not because they're caught having sex with someone of the same gender. Um, it's because uh, they, uh, the guy is too femme or the girl is too butch. Um, it's all down to gender. Um, and how can you even define yourself as gay or lesbian without defining what the same and the opposite gender is? So. In my opinion, it all comes down to gender. So, having having gender issues with trans and gender queer people being a part of gay and lesbian politics just makes sense to me because it'll open up the door for everyone else. Um, apparently, um, I've heard that the first person to um, to fight back in the Stonewall riots was a drag queen or a trans person, um, depending on the story, but, I mean, it wasn't, you know, your typical, you know, I guess there's no such thing as typical, but, I mean, it was, it was a person who was gender variant, so, I mean, that's what sparked the modern gay and lesbian movement, so, in order to, you know, be inclusive of everyone who has to fight the struggle, you have to, um, you know, take everyone's issues seriously. And, um, I mean, resistance politics doesn't work when you just ignore, like, the one whole segment of the population. So, um, 
Yeah, I mean, if everybody has protection based on gender identity and expression, then that, you know, is beneficial for everyone. Gay, lesbian, straight, I mean, it'll, it'll protect you if you're a little too femme, a little too butch. Um, it'll protect you if you, people can't tell your de gender. Um, I mean, another um, argument about excluding trans and gender issues um, is that it's like too much to take on, like, you know, let's deal with gay marriage first then, then we'll deal with trans stuff if we, or like, with, with the ENDA, um, Employment Non-Discrimination Act, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of people felt, um, like specifically like the, um, HRC and stuff like that, um, Human Rights Campaign, they felt that including gender in there was, was asking too much. But, I mean, I personally think that's bullshit. Um, if, you know, you get the gender stuff out of the way, it, it clears up a lot of issues for other things. Like, we won't have to be, like, fighting for same-sex marriage if gender doesn't matter in marriage. So I really think that's what we should be pushing for, is, um, is the gender issue. Because, you know, it's like a bottom-up approach. Um, once you solve that, that bottom issue, like, everything else will just, will just fall into place. Um, but if we just, you know, try, like, hacking one bit off the top and another bit off the top, it'll just take us forever to get to where we need to be. So, um, yeah, like, I mean, if you're a non, well, if you're, if you're a binary identified trans person that doesn't want to be included in queer politics, then you don't have to join. Um, but I don't think that it's right to exclude people because you don't know people's history. Um, you don't know what people identify as. So just saying that, like, trans people don't belong is really stupid because there's tons of queer trans people and the fact that, you know, gender should be... Gender is, like, the defining thing in, like, homosexual relationships. It's somebody of one gender or sex loving someone of another gender or sex. And if you can't define gender and you can't define sex and you don't deal with those issues, then how can you define yourself as gay or lesbian or homosexual or heterosexual or whatever, so... Um... Yeah, so I guess that's my two cents. Um, hmm. And, uh, alright, I guess that's it, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Alright.